let my wife talk me into something. It's fixing to get crazy. We bought paint. She wants to paint all these cabinets. All, all these cabinets. And then we're gonna paint the walls. And then we're gonna do the floors. So my little floor residential refrigerator upgrade turned into, let's just do the whole thing. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Wanna watch? We also got an updated idea. So the little, little ice maker, now the motor's bad. I replaced the, oh my goodness. I think it's getting ready to storm apparently. Wow, can't really see much in this motor home, but. Oh yeah, look at that. As I was saying, I'm giving up on the ice maker. It works as a freezer. I'm going to leave it as a freezer. Now, for making ice, I don't have any water here. I've got some lines from the AC, but I don't have any water run. But just on the other side of this wall is the sink. And underneath there is water. So I'm going to plumb in a T on the cold water line. I'm going to plumb in a quarter turn valve and we're going to make this make ice. So all the lines in this bus are three eighths, except for the drain lines. Those are half inch. Go figure that. So I'm going to pull this floor up. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this heater register while I've been here and have done the rest. Now I'm going to go right through the back right there. Boop. All right. So I got my hole drilled, got my T on, my T right there into that. Right there into that cold water line. There we go. All teed up and ready to go. So we got that connected back there. I'll vacuum those bits out. This is all connected in here. What are you doing? The water's back on, no leaks. So we are good to go. That should tuck down under the floor nicely. You'll never even see it. She wants to paint all this. And I can't say it's a blamer. It's kind of got a pink hue to it. Uh, it's a whitewashed cherry. I liked it at first, but now I'm thinking some nice gloss gray would probably be pretty sharp, so. Uh, last night I got all of the cabinet Hardware pulled off. Bought me a Flexio 3000. And we're going to shoot all these cabinet doors and cabinet faces inside here with. So we got a lot of prep work to do. I was doing a little digging around. Got some areas that I wasn't real happy with the way the wallpaper looked. Because we are going to try to rip the wallpaper off of the Luan before we paint it. Uh, just to keep it from bubbling up and coming off. But we did end up with a little bit of an issue. So I had a weird spot in the wallpaper right here. And when I started doing a little tugging at it, that led to a little further and to a little further and to a little further until we got to the bottom of this entire window, brought it out. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna pull this window out, figure out how to remanufacture this, cut out the bad stuff, leave the good stuff, and reseal the window because obviously there's a problem. Now keep this in mind. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I'm just winging it at this point. No idea what I'm doing. I don't have any sort of specialty in this, but I don't have a lot of money. Uh, I certainly don't have enough money to pay somebody to half-ass fix it when I can half-ass fix it by myself for free. So, or really, really inexpensively. 
So that's the plan. I'm gonna fix it myself. Like I said, pretty much every pretty much every sentence before I hit pause on this camera is let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens. We quit our jobs, sold our house, left everything behind in Houston on a let's see what happens. So I guess I pretty much do live my life that way. Here's another one that's gonna be loud. I'll just play some music over it. back out here on the bus and uh, see if anything else looks leaky around. Let's see about maybe putting that refrigerator in. Mm -hmm. Sure. This is only like the 35th day I've been working on this thing, so. What are we doing? Finally putting the fridge in. All right, let's do it. On the trailer out there, out there. Here's what we got going on. So we got the big refrigerator in here. I spent all that time all day yesterday plumbing the ice maker. Did you know ice ice maker lines were quarter inch? I thought they were three eighths. I thought they've always been three eighths. It's not three eighths. I think it's a quarter. You may be asking yourself why are they putting a refrigerator in before they tape everything off and paint the entire interior of the bus. So the answer to that question is we're pretty far away from the house and to have some cold water on board to be able to grab and go. So the plan was to have easy access with some cold drinks so we could stay hydrated through the day without having to hike it all the way back up to the house every time in the 100 and 
20 degree heat index. That's that's why. And it'd be real easy to just tape it off and paint around it. Not a big deal. Now the majority of my 76 subscribers probably live in town or near some sort of town where they can just pop over and grab something. It's a 30, 45 minute trip for us to get to where we need to get what we need. So they'll have to wait till tomorrow. Until then, I think I'm gonna shut it down. I can dream a bigger dream, I'll go and